Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. So today's video, we're going to discuss are the mandates coming back? So guys, as you're hearing, new Mr. 19s, new editions of Mr. 19s are popping up all over the place. Not so much that they're popping up all over the place. They're just new ones forming all over the place. And so with that, guys, a lot of people are now nervous, if you will, about these new editions of Mr. 19 variants. Already, colleges are telling their students that are coming back that when you come back, you have to have a mask on. Some colleges are suggesting it. Other colleges are making it a mandate. All because, guys, of new editions of Mr. 19s that are not even deadly. They're not even, like, causing a big issue. There have been hospitalizations, but again, guys, hospitalization terms have changed. It used to be when you went to the hospital and you were admitted, you were hospitalized. That counted as a hospitalization for that hospital. Mr. 19 came along, COVID, and all of a sudden, they changed that definition to if you visit the hospital, it's a hospitalization. And I think you had to visit the hospital with Mr. 19 on board for it to count as a hospitalization, even though you were there for a half hour, hour, two hours. Now, if you were there for a half hour, two hours, you're in a really good hospital. But normally here in the city, you're, you're, you're here for hours or there for hours, rather. So as a whole, guys, a lot of cities are gearing up for face coverings to come back. And in some cases, I feel that states are going to start dropping mandates as to wearing a mask wearing a mask now a lot of businesses are going to do that before the state does it so you're going to be walking into businesses really soon supermarkets especially where they're going to tell you you need to put something on your face now we've already been this we've done this dance before we've been do through this limbo line a lot of us ain't going to fucking do it a lot of us are going to be you know what fuck you we're going to go somewhere else but other places places that you might have to get shit done they are undoubtedly going to institute this mask mandate so clearly, guys, I know that a lot of schools probably here in the city are going to start talking about bringing back face coverings, bringing back masks, and probably making it a mandate. That schools here in New York City, I can't speak for anywhere else, because obviously, guys, once the government starts talking about it, once the White House starts talking about it, everybody else is like, oh, shit, we got to do something. They're talking about it because they're idiots. They're morons. I mean, it, 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 bad enough, studies already came out stating that these things didn't work. They didn't work on your face. So why are we continually telling people to put something on their face that does not work, especially with the three variants that are out or the three editions of Mr. 19 that are out that they're worried about? They already said that face coverings are not going to help with these, right? Especially one called a prion or something like that, or, or, or Prius or Priola, that's what it was. That one, if I'm not mistaken, is the one that they're more concerned about only because it's spreading fast, but not because it's increasing uh, death rates or anything like that or hospitalizations, just that more and more people are testing positive for it or getting sick. Still, guys, who the fuck is, 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 is sitting here worried about some shit that's now like the common cold? BA286, I think that's also code name Pyrola. If I said that right, that's the one they're more concerned with. Then there's the EG5, and then there's BAA2. Probably sure I botched those up, but the correct uh, designations will be at the bottom of the screen. So again, guys, here they go carrying on and getting people scared, stressed out over what? More bullshit. Now, of course, there's a reason why they're trying to stress people out about this. Well, because they're trying to get everyone to take Mr. 19's booster because obviously guys that's going to help according to them and it's going to save the world according to them so they're pushing it more also because I feel that the pharmaceutical companies lost a lot of money because people are not taking it seriously anymore or so that it was bullshit and not taking Mr. 19's additional friends in your arm the additional arm tickets that they want you to take boosters so these additional arm tickets guys they are pushing more and more now and of course getting people scared with these new variants that are out these new additions of mr 19 that are out they're getting people all frazzled about it and they're like and so people are like oh, oh shit and then they're gonna get mr 19's uh added addition into their arms none of it works supposedly 
they're working on a a very specific one for if I'm not mistaken I think it's BAA2 so it's BA286 that's the one that they're worried about and that's the one that they're trying to get a specific arm ticket for along with that guys the White House is now pushing the boosters and the RSV and flu arm tickets so they're trying to again make way for pharmaceutical companies to make more money this fall now they started their nonsense back in or rather a week ago they started pushing this nonsense about the RSV and the flu and Mr. 19's arm ticket they're going to ramp it or go full steam ahead come fall when all of a sudden cases are spiking now the problem with the case is spiking again I don't believe it they're sitting there telling us that the numbers are going up how do we know right now some people are like well my cousin caught it my what you call it? all right fine D listen guys this is the common cold this is what it is now so guys right now this is just the common cold that's all it is it's nothing more nothing less granted when it first started people weren't used to it and a lot of people passed away but we are now guys at a stage where this thing has mutated so much that is just a common cold, but yet they're scaring people over this and telling people they need to take a booster and or get their first arm ticket on board so they can get their boosters. Now, like I said before, cases have gone up, not deaths. Yet they're still pushing this rhetoric and still getting people scared. Again, we can't prove, or rather they can't prove to us that the numbers are going up other than just showing us numbers going up, not showing us actual people being sick or hospitals being overrun. They just keep telling us this, and we sit there and go, oh, okay, we believe you, because there are idiots out there that believe them. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.